Operation Plague Star has gone live on all platforms. You will have up until the 26th of June at 2pm Eastern Time to play the event. Before you begin the operation, make sure to research the infested catalyst in the biolab of your clan dojo if you are looking to build the Plague Star Dojo trophies or you just want the Hunter mod set. The operation is very simple. All you have to do is go to Cetus and talk to Konzu in order to start the Plague Star bounty. Keep in mind you will have to travel long distances between each stage. Head out into the Plains of Eidolon and of course follow the markers. There are a total of 4 bounty stages you will need to complete and those follow. Stage 1 takes you to one of the caves and inside you'll be directed to a toxin canister. Interact with it and make your way to stage 2, which is a defense mission. During stage 2 you will be able to add the infested catalyst that will spawn the hemocyte during the final stage. A maximum of 4 catalysts can be used to spawn a total of 4 hemocytes. I'll talk about that in the 4th stage. You'll also be able to add the Eidolon for Laxus that increases the levels of enemies during the 4th stage. Both of these will need to be purchased, built and equipped into your gear wheel before they can be used during stage 2. Each item added to the mixer will also add an extra 250 standing to your bounty reward. The vanilla bounty rewards 1000 operation standing, and if you did include all of those aforementioned items, you will get 3000 operation standing. Once you have defended the mixer, you'll need to interact with it again and grab the canister, and then you're onto stage 3. Stage 3 requires you to take the canister and interact with a downed drone. Follow the drone on its way to the infested boil and boom, stage 4 begins. You'll have to kill numerous infested coming out of the boil in order to complete stage 4, Keep in mind if you are a weak frame, don't step onto the boil as it will apply a toxic proc onto your warframe and will constantly refresh as long as you are on it. Now if you did use the infested catalyst, a recolored Lephantis will spawn under the name of the Hemocyte. If you are unfamiliar with the Lephantis boss, all you have to do is target the green face, yellow frill and the blue face or neck when each of them attacks. There is a damage cap on this unit, so don't expect to one hit it. A maximum of 4 hemocytes can spawn during the phase and you will need to kill all hemocytes in order to complete the bounty and earn standing if you have gone this route. Once you've reached 100% on the HUD indicator and you have killed the final hemocyte if it applies to you, return to Cetus and head to Nakuk. She is this operation's vendor and you'll be able to buy her items with operation standing. This standing does get removed when the operation concludes on the 26th of June. As for the items that she sells, they follow. Cetus Wisps, Cathol Tendrils, the Eidolon Phylaxis Blueprint, which does mean you are required to complete at least one bounty prior to having the ability to buff enemy levels, the Ether Dagger Blueprint, Exodia Contagion, Exodia Epidemic, a fully built former, the Fostor Blau and Rad Blueprints, the Formination Mod, the Hearth Synth and Radiant Centurium Eidolon Gems, the Mercury Liver, Norg Brain, the Plague Aquan, Plague Bokwan, Plague Kiwa, and Plague Kripath Zor Blueprints, the Plague Star Emblem, the Sacrifice Mod, and the Snipetron Blueprint. And finally, if you are interested in acquiring clan trophies, you will need to spawn Hemocytes to gather Hemocyte Systolus. This resource is only used in the creation of the Plague Star trophies. A Ghost Clan requires 10 for a Terracotta trophy, 25 for a Bronze, 50 for Silver, and 100 for Gold. Those requirements, like usual, will scale upwards based on your clan tier. And that's it.